Tickles? Tickles? So early on in the design process for 2011 show, one of us shared a video for Radiohead's Creep. And this particular version was a vocal version by a group called Vega, very similar to the version done by Scala, which was used for the trailer of The Social Network. But then when it came time for the movie, it didn't make the cut. We all know how that feels, don't we, euphoniums? I'm a little bit sketchy on the details. I mean, it feels like it was almost a decade ago. But uh, I do remember that it was Tom Rarick that suggested that maybe we include it in our show. So at the January camp, I was staying at the old Hamilton place, and on Saturday morning, I had some time to kill, you know, waiting for my limo, and uh, I decided I'm going to rough in the tune just to see what happens. And this never happens to me, but it just rolled out. And in spite of the fact that uh, we had other music to learn, some other show music to learn that weekend, we decided to have the horns read it. And uh, I'll never forget standing outside the rehearsal hall with Tom Rarick and uh, just thinking, this is going to work. So Creep was kind of atypical because most drum corps shows don't start with a ballad, let alone with solo piano. But the beauty of the solo piano was it gave Michael Rosales an awesome opportunity to choreograph the entire drum corps. And that became a really sublime moment for us. So of course, Creep became the most popular part of that show and is part of our encore repertoire to this day. I have to be honest, I mean, and I really didn't expect it to resonate with the audience as much as it did, you know, in spite of the hundreds of successes I've had in the past. I'm extraordinarily proud to have been part of its creation and I hope you enjoy this anniversary Blue Coats alumni edition of Radiohead's Creep. <laughs>